Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We're back with another fragrance review right here, guys, on my day off. But first and foremost, I do want to greet every single nurse out there. A happy Nurses Week. Yes, it's Happy Nurses Week. So if you are a nurse, wherever you are around the world, you're awesome. Keep the good work up and happy Nurses Week. Now today we're back with another video guys and we're back at the house of Serge Off. Yes, I do have a lot of Serge Off videos that I know you guys love and enjoy. But today we're going to talk about one of their latest releases guys. And I am excited to give you guys uh, the goods on these uh, four releases right here one by one. So this is something you guys have voted on the polls overwhelmingly. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to the channel. And also if you guys want to help the channel in another way and you don't want to wait in between videos, you can also consider being a member of the channel. That's right. For a very small fee, you can be a member of the channel and read all my private notes of all my testing. Right now, I'm in the middle of testing Ganymede x de Parfum. I'm going to compare that with Ganymede. If you want to check out those notes that I'm going to put up today, please make sure to be a member. And the fragrance that we will be talking about today is none other than from the Serge Off K Collection, Ether. Yes, Ether from the Serge Off K Collection right here, guys. And what does the K in the K Collection mean? It basically means Kemi. Yes, Kemi. And for those that know or don't know, I mean, Kemi used to be a sister company to Serge Off and Kemi, uh, it was called Kemi Blending Magic. Okay, and it was about this alchemy of creating these absolutely stunning uh, Middle Eastern types of scents. Okay, so Kemi was specialized in that. And so that was like a sister separate company. They had their own bottles. They had their own look. To me, if you ask me, the Kemi collection, maybe save for Aurum, was like really, really like into like Middle Eastern perfumes. Like it's not really like a balanced uh, type of Middle Eastern perfumes. If you wanted like a little bit of hardcore in there, then Kemi uh, is definitely something you should look at. Now, Kemi got absorbed into the Serge Off collection. So now it's under Serge Off as the K collection. And they also added four new perfumes. So on top of like, I believe eight, eight of the Kemi core collection, that like I said, uh, save for Aurum, uh, you know, it's pretty like hardcore Middle Eastern Udi, right? So they got absorbed into it. I was really wondering what the move was really about because, you know, Serge Off already has a very extensive Oud Stars lineup. You know, we have Alcott, we have like Ceylon, we have Alexandria too. And so Kemi getting brought in there, plus four more new perfumes. I mean, to me, my opinion on this is that this one basically not only brings that hardcore like Middle Eastern collection in there. I mean, again, save for Aurum. Uh, but also, in my opinion, these four new perfumes, before I even tried them, my opinion was that these perfumes were not going to be, not, they were not going to be anything like the core collection of Kemi, which is a little bit more hardcore. In my opinion, because they're bringing it in the Serge Off collection, and that means exposure to a wider Serge Off base that probably like mainstream perfumes, that these Four, the four new Kemi Collection uh, perfumes are going to be more balanced, more mass appealing than just your, you know, very hardcore Udi Middle Eastern perfume. And I was right, guys. Yes, I was right. After trying all four, I would say only one out of the four really had that core collection uh, Kemi blending magic feel, like really a little bit more hardcore Udi Middle Eastern. But the other three, in my opinion, were, you know, really more surge off Kemi, you know, it's kind of like a Serge Off Kemi hybrid, or the other three could be entrance into the Oud Stars lineup of Serge Off guys. Okay, now Ether, Ether was the one that caught my eye in the beginning, and that's the only reason why this one is coming in first. If I could rank these four right now, I would say Ether is number one, or no, wait, I would say it's like a close tie between Ether and Asteral, and then Empyrean is the next, and I would say Holism is the last. Okay, that's kind of like my ranking right here, but Ether right here, if you look at it on paper, I'm sure a lot of y'all, when this came out, you were like, oh man, that Ether 
really looks good. I mean, if you look at the notes, it seems fantastic. You've got like what, Brazilian orange, you've got bergamot, you've got rose, you've got oud, you've got Madagascar vanilla and caramel and benzoin. I mean, it sounds damn amazing on paper, guys, okay? So if you like fantasizing over notes and what a fragrance could smell like, I think out of all the four, ether would be number one right here. But of course, it goes down in the execution, guys, okay? So today we're gonna talk about ether. I'm gonna tell you what this thing smells like. Let's go spray this thing right now. Hmm. Okay guys, now let's talk about Serge Off Ether from the Serge Off K Collection, my first pick. First and foremost, I will say this, that this fragrance does not follow the breakdown on paper, okay? The note breakdown you guys see on paper is not exactly how this fragrance reveals itself. This is not going to be a fragrance that has like a bright citrusy opening and then things get thicker and a gradient as it goes along. It doesn't go like that simply because this is an oud fragrance, okay? And definitely when it comes to oud fragrances, you are going to get a start of thickness, okay? There's like a blanket of thickness that starts this fragrance and I would call this the mothership combination. Can I just call that that? Uh, it's a mothership combination of notes that will give you that impression, a thick blanket, and then eventually some of the notes sort of like reveal themselves as they go along. And for me, if I could categorize this mothership combination of ether, it would be a combination of A, animalic notes, B, the oranges, and C, the balsamic or ambery notes, okay? So that is the mothership combination of ether that starts off the fragrance thick. It's that combination, that immediate combination of orange, amber, and animalic notes, okay? So immediately, you're gonna get smells of that maybe oud and cumin and cypria oil combination, guys. Very warming, very nice. And then you've got the oranges as the sweet side of things, and then you have that thick balsamic resinous amber to basically round this all off. And this combo smells lovely, guys. I wouldn't even say it's entirely like super Middle Eastern, guys, okay? And as I've said, this is what I've thought, that this is kind of like an outreach to towards the Serge Off uh, base, which is like, you know, maybe you're into mainstream perfumes, maybe you're afraid of oud, or you're just kind of curious about oud. So because the combination is overwhelmingly like sweet, resinous, balsamic, ambery, and then you have oranges too on top of that, with the animalic notes kind of like, I wouldn't say at a minimum, but it's at a very moderate amount. I would say that this is a very balanced, lovely, uh, sweet, ambery, animalic intro uh, from this fragrance ether right here. Now the oud here in ether actually makes its presence felt in the beginning. So it's also kind of like a balance for those people that are into oud fragrances. So it's not necessarily 100% like for the mainstream. You have the oud here, but the oud, I want to describe it, is going to be chocolatey. Okay, it's chocolatey, well blended in, warming, not necessarily super animalic. I would say it's the cumin that adds a little bit of an animalic touch right there, but that's what it is. I mean, it's showing you that this is a chemi fragrance first and foremost. So you're gonna get a little bit of animalic in the beginning, but the oud itself is gonna be chocolatey. Again, blended in with some balsamic notes and amber and oranges. And like I said, this combination is wonderful. It's kind of like a honeyed, sweet, uh, chocolatey intro uh, that to me, again, is a great fall winter fragrance. I mean, this is something I would wear as soon as it gets pretty cold as I'm wearing the coats on. I think that this is a wonderful intro. And again, it's a balance. It's a balance. I think that both, you know, those that are into mainstream perfumes and those that are into Middle Eastern, like Udi perfumes, uh, you guys can find a home in this intro. I like it. Now, another thing that I realized when it came to Serge Off Ether was that the initial sillage and projection of this fragrance wasn't really like crazy strong, okay? And matter of fact, it was more of like a lingering personal scent. I guess it's because this fragrance is different when it comes to the structure where you have these thick notes in the beginning and then the other notes kind of like reveal themselves under. But because of that thick blanket of 
animalic, ambery, and orangey notes, it's actually more of a lingering personal scent. It is something that is a mood enhancer. I think that it's a draw in. I think that this is perfect for those that are uh, a little bit more on the humble side, I would say. You know what I mean? Someone that doesn't take uh, all the attention immediately. Someone that wants to slowly seduce the room, slowly seduce the people in the room, guys, and you know, bring them in. That is the initial projection and sillage of Serge of Ether right here. Now, here's something you probably want to ask next. Where's the lemon? Okay, Troy, you already answered us about the oud. Where's the oud? Now, where's the lemon? Okay, now this fragrance on paper does have two of the best lemony notes on the planet. You've got Amalfi lemon and then Calabrian bergamot. Where's that, Troy? Okay, this fragrance right here reveals those lemony notes within 15 minutes. And again, this fragrance starts off with that thick blanket, this mothership combination of oranges, as well as ember, as well as animalic notes and that chocolatey oud, and then slowly these lemony notes reveal themselves in 15 minutes. And it is, again, uh, a mood enhancer. To me, like once I smell these lemony notes, kind of like join the mandarin oranges at this point, 15 minutes in, it does feel good. It does feel like a personal scent. It does feel like a mood enhancer. I feel great wearing this. And it starts balancing out with that thick blanket right there. Past 15 minutes, the lemon joins in with the mandarin. And again, here's another one, the rose. What's up with that? Is this a rose oud fragrance, guys? Now, the rose is a deep, dark Bulgarian rose. First and foremost, I want to say that. To me, this Bulgarian rose note just basically adds some depth, some romanticism and warmth to the mothership combination right here. But I wouldn't say that it's a rose. You know, it's a full rose uh, note that steals the show right here, guys. And actually, here's a little tidbit right here. The other fragrance, Astoral. Now that fragrance, I didn't expect you know, a turn into the rose. So that's a little bit different from Asterol, the other fragrance from the Kemi collection. I mean, started off different and then boom, it became like a full rose type of fragrance right there. And I wouldn't say it's the same case here. The rose is a background actor. Now, remember what I said about the structure of ether that wasn't really the same on paper, starts off with a thick blanket. And then over time, the underlying notes, uplifting notes start appearing, such as the lemon. When it comes to the mid, actually it's the same, okay? In the sense that here in the mid, the aromatic notes are the ones that start coming out, these uplifting aromatic notes. Now, let me say this, that initial combination with the oranges, the balsamic, ambery notes, and the oud, the animalic stuff, the animalic stuff actually ends in less than an hour. Okay, I just wanna say that, okay? So it's just, like to me, 45 minutes to an hour of animalic is like a touch of it, you know? And that really tells me that this fragrance was made for the mainstream or for those that wanna get like a hit of oud, but not necessarily like oud for hours and hours, just a hit of it, just that intro part. Even the oud itself is kind of chocolatey. So that all fades away. Animalic stuff fades away within less than an hour. And as it goes along, you're still gonna have these warming sweet facets, care of the oranges, care of the ambery balsamic notes, care of the rose. These are still gonna be there, okay? That's not gonna go away. However, in place of the initial uplifting citruses, now you are going to get those uplifting aromatic notes, guys, okay? So clary sage, lavender, Siberian pine, these aromatic notes start going out. And again, this is for the wearer. It gives you this balance, guys. But again, I do wanna take note that the warming side of this fragrance is still going to be there. It's just not going to be that thick blanket that starts this fragrance off. It's going to be more of a balance now of thick, warming, sweet, uh, cozy. And then at the same time, you've got these nice aromatic notes in place uh, right after a continuum from the citrusy notes. It's a lovely combination. And again, for me, it's a little bit more mainstream uh, compared to like an Udi fragrance, more of the Kemi core collection stuff, uh, a little bit more hardcore. Uh, to me, this is uh, this confirms what I was saying that this is like an outreach to the Serzhov collectors right here. And for the knockout punch, you've got Madagascar vanilla as well as caramel with some sandalwood and musk on the dry down right there, guys. Okay, beautiful Madagascar vanilla. Serzhov knows how to use this. Madagascar vanilla and caramel, lovely gourmand, warm, cozy, sweet ending 
to this fragrance and this all starts within the four to five hour mark okay so four to five hours i mean this thing's not going to make you wait that long you're going to get the caramel you're going to get the vanilla sandalwood and musk guys okay so it's a lovely ending again this is reminiscent of the intro you know sweet warming cozy and this fragrance maintains that in the mid in the intro and mid as you are smelling some uplifting balancing notes of you know lemon as well as those aromatic notes of lavender and then in the end you've got that thick sweet warming cozy blanket yet again with these notes of madagascar vanilla caramel sandalwood and musk it's a lovely ending right here really cozy and again this really makes me think about the fall and winter you know if you're gonna wear something for fall and winter that is warm sweet and cozy this is definitely something you guys should consider and another thing that you should consider is that it is a great intro into the oud universe or into the middle eastern oud universe guys because like i said the animalic side of this isn't really that bad it isn't really that crazy it isn't really loud or attention grabbing and that might not be your taste uh, however because of this super balanced intro with chocolatey oud as well as basically mainstream lovable start to finish types of notes right here this makes this fragrance a great intro to oud for those that want to try it this fragrance ether to me is an upscale grabber okay it might be a grabber to some of y'all but to me it is an upscale grabber it smells pretty regal and expensive and it's the projection as well it's very modest it's not really loud and attention grabbing which is something that you might like if you are going to an upscale function and i think that this is absolutely safe to wear on a date night even here in america in my opinion because like i said even that animalic facet of it isn't really that crazy and it goes away in 45 minutes and you're really left with a very balanced warm and cozy sweet fragrance right here so i think this is absolutely wearable even in the western countries or in places that you know people don't know what oud is this is definitely out of all of them the outreach that Serjoff was looking for, guys, okay? So I like this ether. Again, if there is one thing, one gripe for me is that I wish the performance was better. I have nothing against the sillage and the projection of ether uh, being like this lingering scent, but the thing is the total uh, longevity of ether is around eight hours total. Okay, that's the thing, eight hours total. And it was kind of like a shock to me because Serjoff usually makes fragrances that go above 12. So maybe it is the concentration, uh, maybe it's the amount of the ingredients and maybe it got too expensive putting all these lovely notes in here. But to me, it could have been stronger for longer. But if you get blown away by this scent, and I reckon some people will because of this combination right here. And you're willing to overspray this a bit, you know, for a little bit more performance or reapply this at some point that, hey, there you go. You've got yourself an amazing fragrance right here. I mean, like I said, it's okay to me. It's just that to me, there's a certain level of sillage that I get from Serjoff perfumes that I was kind of expecting on this one. I did not get it. I did get it on the other ones though, which I will review, but not here surprisingly with Ether. So I wish it was stronger longer, but hey, you know, you can't have it all, can you? Ultimately, performance aside, this fragrance smells amazing though. Okay, Ether smells amazing. It's a perfect combination of warming, cozy, and sweet notes, chocolatey oud right there, guys. And it is perfect for the fall winter season, the upcoming fall winter season, guys, after this summer is over, guys. Okay, it's an upscale grabber, very balanced, and again, a great intro for those people that wanna get into oud type fragrances. And the thing about Serjoff, though, is that they do have these 25 euro sample kits, okay? So for 25 euros, you can basically check out the entire uh, new K collection right there. And maybe your skin chemistry is better than mine. Maybe uh, ether will perform better for you than it did for me, guys. Okay, so try that out. Try the other ones out. And let me know in the comments below what y'all think of the collection if you already did, guys. What is your ranking 
of these fragrances from top to bottom i would love to know because that might influence you know the order of how i'm reviewing these uh four fragrances right here guys okay so that is it that is my review on surge of ether thank you very much for watching guys again please do not forget to like and subscribe we're like 100 away from 16,000. we're gonna celebrate yet again okay every thousand is a celebration right here the troy d24 7 mall channel thank you for your support i'll see you guys on the next video tomorrow God bless, take care, peace.